wanted to give you all an update on the progress we've made recently uh, at PowerVision. So PowerVision has developed what the, the world's first true shape-changing, fluid-driven intraocular lens. We mimic the eye's natural accommodative process using natural muscular forces to change the power of our lens, creating what we call a continuously variable monofocal. No light splitting uh, in our design, and it's designed for consistent high quality uh, images over the entire range of optical powers. We've made a, a lot of great progress over the years and since we spoke to you last time. Last, at the last meeting, we in, indicated we'd initiated our pilot study of our newest Fluid Vision 2020 lens. We've now reached the six month follow up point on that lens, and I'm going to share those results with you today. And we have started, we're actually in the middle of a very large multi center study, randomized controlled study outside the US. I'm not going to talk today about some of our prior results, but just to remind you that with our prior generation lens, we have up to three year follow up on our lens showing stability, great results, and we have over 150 implants of our just prior generation device as well. Power Vision, a leader in the field of accommodative lens technology, has developed the Fluid Vision Accommodating Intraocular Lens, which is designed to restore the eye's ability to accommodate. The soft, fluid-filled lens is implanted in the eye's capsular bag with a technique similar to that used with standard intraocular lenses. The accommodating fluid vision lens is uniquely different from a non-accommodating standard IOL. By utilizing the natural muscular forces in the eye, the fluid contained within the fluid vision lens is redistributed, affecting a change in its curvature and shape. As a result, accommodation via the fluid vision lens is achieved in much the same way the human eye accommodates. When the natural forces in the eye act to enable it to focus on near objects, a small amount of fluid moves from the edge of the fluid vision lens into the center. This increases both the curvature of the lens as well as its optical power, thereby bringing near objects into focus. Conversely, when the eye adjusts for distance vision, fluid inside the fluid vision lens moves from the center of the lens and back onto its edges, decreasing both the curvature of the lens as well as its optical power, thereby bringing distance objects into focus. The new generation fluid vision accommodating intraocular lens from Power Vision, designed for clear vision at all distances. We are now going to uh, give you some uh, results from our pilot study. So this pilot study, again, is of our newest Fluid Vision 2020 lens. It was a prospective single-arm multi-center study. 28 patients received the monocular implants of our Fluid Vision lens through a three and a half millimeter uh, incision. Uh, we indicated, and we'll show you later, that we're working on a 3.2 and ultimately a 2.8 uh, inserter for that same device. One subject exited the study early, follow-up up to six months. Key effectiveness outcomes were uh, objective accommodative amplitude, distance corrected near, and distance corrected visual acuity. So here are the results, all distance corrected visual acuity. You can see um, these are all monocular results and they're outstanding. And I hope you can see that this demonstrates really what we promised we would accomplish and believe we are accomplishing, which is the ability ultimately in a binocular setting to deliver 20-20 vision across, uh, across the range, uh, all distances. We also have taken a lot of uh, effort over the years to make sure that we are uh, measuring objective accommodation and uh, really de clearly demonstrating the mechanism of action of our lens. Uh, this, these are a series of charts of a, of a series of patients showing the accommodative, the power change of our lens in response to alternating near and far stimulus. We, as we had predicted, delivered roughly twice the accommodation of our prior generation lens when compared to monofocals. Our average objective accommodation measure across this cohort of patients at six months is two diopters, which is, uh, which is really groundbreaking. Also, we, we talk about our approach. We, we say we have a continuously variable monof monofocal lens 
you know, emphasizing that we're not splitting light in any way. The uh, multi-center studies underway will study this in greater detail, but just to give you a snapshot from our pilot data, you can see that contrast sensitivity results in this cohort of patients is, as expected, comparable to that of a monofocal. Safety surgeries were uneventful, adverse event rates were very low, and endothelial cell loss was as comparable to standard cataract surgery. So again, we're continuing to increase the number of patients in our prospective uh, multicenter randomized controlled study against uh, conventional monofocal and multifocal uh, design lenses. Um, these pilot results are outstanding, and we're very pleased and hopefully predict a great outcome for our uh, multicenter randomized controlled studies. As we've told you before, we're never standing still. Uh, we, our goal is to obsolete ourselves. We have uh, uh, gotten this Fluid Vision 2020 successfully into clinical setting with great results. We are working uh, to uh, complete our, our uh, bench work on 3.2 millimeter incision. We've demonstrated that, that that can work, and we are doing our final validation work. We've built toric prototypes, which show the toric power and toric angle remain constant over a full range of accommodation with our newest toric design. And we are busy working in the lab on the ability to change the power of the lens post-implant, as well as, as I mentioned before, successfully injecting this through a 2.8 millimeter incision. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.